the League of Explorers. Good timing, adventurer. Welcome to the Hall of Explorers. Ooh. We've got a lead on the three pieces of the Staff of Origination. Can you help us recover them? Sure. Scattered across ancient sites of Azeroth are pieces of a powerful Titan artifact, the Staff of Origination. Join the League of Explorers to acquire it for the museum and earn 45 unique cards. Let's go! I mean, I don't know what else to say. New stuff here. Oh, so it's not even fully out yet. That makes sense. They're unlocking it per the week. So the Explorer's Hat, plus one plus one, and Death Rattle adds an Explorer hat to your hand. There's the Jeweled Scarab, a Battle Cry and Discover, a three card cost, a three cost card. The Summoning Stone, whenever you cast a spell, summon a random minion at the same cost. And Reno Jackson, Battle Cry, if you contain um, no more than one of any card, fully heal your hero. If your deck contains no more of one of any cards, have a full card of one of each thing. Plus eight more cards. The Temple of Orsis. Well, shit, let's do it. Let's get, how do I? There we go. There it is. We're on an adventure to the temple. The first piece of the staff lies in the ancient temple of Orsis. Reno's inside already, and he needs your help. Jenkins. Where's he at? Where's he at? Who's the first opponent? Reno's nearly to the rod. But he just had to rub the shiny lamp he found. Draw a card, give your opponent a wish. So we get some we get something off of it. I mean I don't I've i I've got a bunch of decks already built. I don't I have no idea what we're playing against, so I'll just start off with a control warrior and we'll see what happens. I literally I, I I've looked zero into these uh, adventures, into this. I have no idea what's going on. Garrosh versus so we'll see. This is all news to me. Your reward will be a quick death. This is all news to me. Let's dump all this. Get the acolyte. And see what we're up against. Adventurer! I'm Reno Jackson. World-renowned archaeologist, explorer, and treasure hunter. With the self-control of a magpie. Okay, so we get a wish. I'm assuming that's a good thing, but I don't know. Discover a four card cost. A four cost card. Discover a four cost card. So it's just going to give us a four cost card or less or something? Oh shit, we get to pick? Uh, the mech thing doesn't do us much good. This might be all right. Yeah, sure, let's go with this guy. This is pretty cool. Let's get rid of that in case he's got pump up for this thing. That's the last thing in the world that I want to deal with. Well, it's nice that he's willing to grant wishes while he's trying to kill us. Discover a spell, any old spell. The lava shocks. This is good. All right, let's discover a spell first, and then we'll play Acolyte. A shield slam, cleave. Shield slam's probably a, the best choice, so let's go with that. And let's play the Acolyte of Pain. Acolyte of Pain might give us uh, two or three draws here. Discover a minion. Oh, shucks. You damn forgotten torch! Oh god, we're gonna like overdraw here. We need to be careful. I need to start dumping my hand. So did I ever tell you about the time I infiltrated the ogres of Dire Mall in disguise? No, nope, never yes. never told me. Let's play the axe flinger. Let's discover a minion. What would be best? Silence is likely pretty good. Old Merc Eye. Nah. Yeah, this discover mechanic's cool. It's interesting. It adds a shit ton more RNG to the game though, doesn't it? <laughs> I am gonna overdraw. Oh shit. This is actually a problem. Maybe I should just play a deck that's gonna dump his hand really quickly because I'm gonna be overdrawing like mofo. Sneaking through the Black Rock Lyceum to acquire. Yes. Rampage. If I play the Heroic Strike, it'll be good because I can get rid of it right now. And I can deal with that as well. So this is pretty good because this lets me dump a little bit more. 
Um, I like that. I like that a lot. And, um... I guess I'll just actually do this. I don't want to shield block yet. I want to shield block with the shield slam, most likely. So we'll just go with the regular armor up. Given that he's filling up our hand, I act I think it makes sense. Um, if this if we don't win this match, we'll play something like a zoo deck or something. Uh, random Son of a bitch. It's exactly what I'm worried about. This is good. Do this now? Yeah, let's do this now. Just freaking execute this, forget it. I just need to get cards out of my hand. This is the thing, dude. And I'm actually going to play this now because it's on curve and he's not likely to burn Stop through that six. Moving. He's not likely to burn through that six armor. And we could still shield set next turn. I know that wasn't the best use of execute, but we're getting so many stuff anyways that I think we'll be fine. Um, and I'll like shield slam this or something. Oh my god, are you serious? Holy shit. Ooh. I need something. I need something good. Brawl, nah. We're not selling it. I actually don't like that because of the card draw. Okay, let's go. Um, shield slam to get rid of it. This to get rid of that. Uh, this is a good. This is a good walk, I guess. With four more, let's actually play this and hit him in the face with it. Just get all the cards out of my hand. All of the cards out of my hand, please. All right, inspiration, wind fury. That's the wind fury. Too much wind fury here. Too much wind fury here. Draw a four cost card. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Do we win here? Ten. Do we wait? Do we win here? Uh, ten, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. We need two more damage to win, so I don't think we have it right now. None of this is really any good. I'm not going to have. Well, I might have more than four millions with Dr. Boom at some point, so let's actually take him. So since I'm two damage off, I'm just going to clear his stuff and play Dr. Boom, I think. No problem. Got our Execute, which is good with Boom. That's a bummer. Pit Snakes are... Fine, I guess. Discover spell. Ooh. Well, the whirlwind effect isn't terrible, actually. Hit face, please. No. Hit face, please. Yes. And we can save that whirlwind effect. Oh shit. Alright, this sets us up to win next turn with Hellscream. Unless he plays a taunt. Sets us up to win next turn with Hellscream. Gain two wishes. <laughs> Shit, the heels. The heels are no bueno. Now we are once again out of range of killing him. Just gonna go for his face anyways. This. I don't I actually don't want to gain two wishes. That's gonna fill up my hand. It's such really such a pain in the ass. Not gonna lie. Our hand's gonna be full now anyways. Well, let's see if he has enough to kill our thing. Two, four, five, six, seven, he's still one off. There it is. We 
you know, we, we've been so close so many times to killing this idiot. Uh, this is nice for clear for uh, dealing with the stuff that he has. It's not like the most impactful board, but it silences that which is big, and I think overall it's a pretty good, pretty good play. And I'm, I'm not, I don't know that we're gonna. Ha I, I, it doesn't seem like he has any weapons anyway. So, all right, three, six, um, three, six, seven, eight. I'm gonna have nine. This is fine actually. I can't believe that worked. Baron's just so strong, though. And the bash is good with him being so low. I think Baron's too good if we pull, if we just pull creatures into play. That taunt is a real freaking bummer. He's gonna deck himself soon, though, so none of this stuff might even matter. It might not even matter, you know. I mean, I guess I could just deal four damage now and three damage next turn and we win, right? Sure. And next turn we deal three damage with Bash and we win. Uh, and so that he has one less creature to walk into that, let's just execute this. It's kind of whatever. No big deal, we win. Woohoo! Hey, if we just walk into that, don't even know what it's about, win the game. And get the Dijini of Zephyrs. Whenever you cast a spell on another friendly minion, cast a copy of it on this one. Hey, that's kinda cool. That's kinda cool. All right, next opponent. We've made it to the temple's vault. You handle the guard, I'll take care of the rest. Whoever controls the Rod of the Sun is immune. Once again, I have no idea what this does. Let's just play Control Warrior and see what happens. Kind of takes away any semblance of strategy. Okay. So I guess we'll just do this or whatever. So what is this? It's an 05. I am invincible. You kill it and you get it. Grab that staff. Two uh two fiery war axe attacks and we'll get this in return. I mean we can't deal damage to him anyways, so. And it's a passive hero power, so there's nothing he's going to do with this. It just happens. So next turn we get this and forces him to attack it. So basically this uh, keeps adding five health to each hero is kind of the way to look at it. You know what I mean? Because they have to deal five damage to this before they can swap it over. You know what I could do? I mean, I guess I could just silence this once, once we had it. If I played a deck that had silent, uh, that probably wouldn't work. They'd probably say, no, you can't do that, right? Let's draw a card, see what we get. If we get another cruel tower, getting another cruel taskmaster would have been the dream. All right, well, let's hit him while we can. He's he's likely going to just go into the 05, so. No. Interesting. I protect the temple. Death Rattle though, five damage to both heroes. Oh my god, that's perfect while wow, he can't fucking... Oh my god. No problem. This is perfect. No problem. Now, we, we won't take this five damage, but he will. That's amazing. And let's put this up. Now he has to go through that. Uh-oh, boys. The Rod of the Sun doing work for... Oh god, no kidding. Mm. Almost.
I think this is just the play right now, right? Oh, we could just do the Harrison. And now let's play this now. Because if he has one weapon, he's bound to have another. And um, just do this to get the value. Oh, we can. So, kind of a tough situation. I think we have to do this, actually. I've got the beast in my this gives us a possibility to kill this next turn now. Oh, shit. Well, at least he has nothing else he's doing right now. And I think Alex Straza is still going to work on this. Now, you know what? Forget Alex. Oh, no. Al oh, wait. Isera Alex Straza. Isera, unfortunately, wouldn't kill this guy. So that's pretty rough. So like, let's just Alex Straza. Doesn't work. Damn, that's what I was worried about. All right, so then let's just play Sarah then. And we, if we got a Sarah Awakens, that'll be the dream. Even if we don't, we can Death's Bite for the extra damage on that guy. And that's probably what we'll do. I shall bring you rest. Let's take this back. You might want to try to hang on to that rod. It's valuable. You might want to try to hang on to that rod. And uh, the five armor? It's not bad. Sylvanas ain't too shabby either, actually. Yeah, I like Sylvanas because this puts him in a predicament for an upcoming turn. I have no time for games. Puts him in a predicament in terms of whether or not he's going to play something. Coming up here. And he's gonna, he still has a hard time killing a Sarah. Oh, maybe not. Oh, doesn't kill a Sarah. That's really good. Unfortunately, we can't kill our Sylvanas right now to sort of make make use of this. Um, that is a show. Thank you for letting me kill Sylvanas. About perfecto. Stupid AI is the best AI. Stupid AI is my favorite AI. Bring him downtown. Like that, and let's just armor up. Let's just armor up. Seems like Control Warrior just cleans, uh, cleans up, cleans up here, huh? I protect the temple. Um, excuse me. Just be doing this now. <laughs> I've got the rod. If only Harrison could see me now. Uh, <laughs> is the ground supposed to shake that much? Oh no! Something's happening. All right, we got the summoning stone. Whenever you cast a spell, summon a random minion of the same cost. That's awesome. Could be cool. And uh, give a random friendly minion plus three plus three of the death rattle there. Beautiful. One more opponent. We've got the first piece. Now we gotta get out of here before we get squished. Encounter new obstacles, huh? No clue. Um, I think this is a dragon priest deck. Anduin versus the collapsing temple. The light shall bring victory. All right, Shadow Word Death will work pretty well here. And the Holy Smite to deal with some of his early stuff, I guess. Uh, this is pretty bad, though. I was hoping for a creature, not a fucking Velen's Chosen. Hey, a glowing pool. All right, that's wanna fine. Check it out? Ooh. And I want to draw a card because we need um we need dragons. We need to draw a card over. Oh, perfecto, perfecto. Are you mocking me? Absolute perfect. Toss of Ellen's chosen on this guy coming up here. No work. Hey, a bit of spikes. Oh, I remember this one. Take the five. If I do this, he survives both of these guys' attacks. So we're gonna do this. You think this is funny? And then we can heal him up further. Uh, Boulder's huge. Get out of the way. 
Remove the rod. Oh my god, this fucking thing, dude. Well, we're close to being able to kill it, but not quite. I guess I just do this. Since this thing was gonna kill, uh, kill him anyways. And I'm gonna hold on to this guy. We're not gonna play him right now. Okay, the rumbling's getting worse. Freaking Boulder. Next turn. <laughs> hey, that's a nice statue. Another death draw. That's Giant perfect. Movie. We're still at 30, man. This is amazing. Uh -oh. He doesn't look happy. I think he wants his gem back. Pop him. Play this. Play this. So I think killing that stops the uh, major clear from happening. The big old rumble, rumble Reno. Guess not. So that happens no matter what. Okay. Well, good to know, I guess. I had no clue. That just happens. You can't stop it. I figured if we killed the big dude, that would prevent that from happening, but I, 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 now I know that's not the case. You cannot be allowed. 510. So this guy's just a 510, right? Yeah. So the Vol'jin Arena works the pretty good here. Man, this is the this is the deck to play, huh? Holy crap. This is- I am crushing this with this deck. This is so good. It's not even funny, dude. I mean, it is pretty I'm damn sure funny, actually. Let's go. We'll, we'll get one extra turn off. I think that's just fine. We'll do just fine here. Um, let's just go Let like this. Let's yeah, kill this. Them up a little bit. Two turns. We got this, boys. No doubt, we got this. Piece of cake, even. Look at that, freaking. Not even a problem. This is hilarious. This is hilarious. Crushing it. One turn away. One turn away. From being a total noob and winning in normal mode. <laughs> nice. We made it. Oh, I never thought I'd be happy to see this dessert. Desert. Oh, I think I need water. That's funny, guys, because he said he said dessert instead of desert. Isn't that that's that's some great A comedy right there? All right, we picked up after you play a battle cry minion, deal two damage to a random enemy. Got the sacred trial as well. What do we get? Reno Jackson. So that that's so weird. It's such a weird card. It's funny though. We also got the Ancient Shade, Shuffle Ancient Curse into your deck that deals seven damage to you when drawn. As the the benefit though is you get a seven four for four crystals. That doesn't seem that great though. That four health is probably a bummer. Now there's a couple of class challenges too. They're looking for the staff. <laughs> <laughs> They're looking for the staff. All right, check out these class challenges. Heroic doesn't even give you anything besides the challenge. You get no cards from it. So fucking whatever. Class challenge. Let's check it out. Let's try the warrior one. Rematch. Can you defeat the boss using the special warrior deck? Let's give it a shot. Actually, we did defeat the boss the first time using a warrior deck. So this could totally work. This is normal though. Yeah, but heroic doesn't even matter. There's no reason to do heroic. You don't get anything from it. Finally, so please. who cares? Your reward will be a quick death. Okay. Um, so I had a taunt up delayed deck. All right, well at least we got something going here. We got turn one, turn two, we can do that. Turn three, we can do, oh, turn two, we can do that, okay. Ready for action. All right, so this will be interesting. I've got a feeling this seems like it's gonna be pretty easy. Um, with a deck filled with taunts, like this is kind of hilarious. Okay, so I'll just trade into that. Well, let's get the spell first and see what we get off of it before we make any decisions here. I could just enrage that thing. Let's just enrage that thing. We'll hold on to our creature. We'll play this guy. 
That's quite fun. I mean, I've got a feeling this is going to be a breeze. You get a card back for doing all of them. Who gives a crap about card backs? Lava Shock, two damage to the one, two. Uh, all right, if you have a taunt minion, get one durability. We do have a taunt minion. This is probably a good turn to play this. And um, I guess I should have done this first, though. Questing Adventurer, I kind of like, because we've got some really low-cost stuff here. So we can question adventure, Questing Adventurer and, like, drop two things uh, in an upcoming turn. Actually, wow, we're going to be like, oh, my God, this is going to be amazing. Holy crap. Okay. Uh, so, here's the game plan. Questing Adventurer first. Dread Corsair to a follow. Um, do this thing. If we got a zero-cost minion, that'd be the best. We don't, though. Would be my best option here. Spell damage, not really. Cost one less for each minion that died this turn. Eh. We could just go with the Frothing, I guess. I don't... Oh, you know what? We can trigger the Frothing with the Unstable Ghoul. Let's play the... Let's get the Frothing. And, um, let's clear this now. Three, four. Okay, perfect. Lightning bolt? No! <laughs> My adventurer! My adventurer! How disappointing. Right, let's see what we get first. Oh, inner rage. No whirlwind, actually. Holy shit, boys. This is it. Right here. Here we go. I'm gonna, like, win next turn. <laughs> we might, like, win next turn. Okay, so let's do this. I'll see. I'll hold on to my weapon attack. If he doesn't kill this, he's in a lot of trouble. Like, a lot of trouble. Discover a minion. We could get lucky. With oh, no. Please don't you dare. Okay, good. Oh boy. I think we might win right now. Let's discover a minion first, see what we get. Nah. None of this is really great. Um, Alright, so I haven't done the math, but let's see here. We can do this with that. Uh, two, three, four. And then we'll have two mana left. So let's do this. We'll get the maximum off of the whirlwind here. And we might win this turn. I'm not entirely sure, though. So we go like this. That's going to pump everything up. Then we walk this into this, which pumps everything up again. Two more, and then the pop off of that. And then we bolster that. And that is the game. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I like I, I really like playing Hearthstone like for the tavern brawls and like these challenges I like playing like these pre-constructed decks. It's 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 fun to try out these different things And I don't know I just enjoy it. So we got the card off of that. I don't even know what the hell it was I didn't check uh, now for the war uh, the warlock challenge on to the warlock challenge, okay? So we're playing against the uh, the, the rod of immunity here All right. Discover a one-cost card. I don't want that. I don't. I don't want any of these in my opening hand. Well, hold on. The Dark Peddler. Though. That's a cool card. I like a three-two, nice and early as well. I, I could just get this quick. So Red let's just death. do that. I guess. I got no other play, and this will make it so that we get him next turn, which will stop us from taking. Perfect. All right. That's fine. I mean, it's not the best use of that card. You could argue to use it for big creatures, but whatever. Um, so more threat or the discover. Let's go with uh, let's go with this now, because next turn we could play this and then also play whatever it gets possibly. And the bigger threat is nice if he takes this back. Oh, that works fine, I guess. We could trade into that. Uh, before we trade in, though, let's see what we get here. Fine, 1-3 Taunt, Power Overwhelming, 1-3 Taunt, I don't mind though, another one of these. This is gonna let me hit his, I'd really like to hit his face. 
Um, so I'll let him walk into this, and then he can do this, and then I can trade my 2-2 into it, and we'll keep our bigger power in play. I protect oh, yeah, boys. That's perfect. That is perfect. And actually, why don't we trade... Well, actually, we, why, what if we trade this in? Let's play the other Void Walker right now instead of Tap, because with the... if. This way we have we have a better chance of a, a demon surviving for Demon Heart, and um, I am gonna walk the two two in, and then we're just gonna hit him in the face. So now we have a better chance to have a demon uh, for the Demon Heart right now. I don't even care, dude. Now he's gonna deal with this giant ass. He's in he's in for a world of pain. So give this guy plus five plus five now. That's freaking hilarious. And let's just throw this guy away. So we can hit him for more in the face. Because we're really close to winning. In fact, we might win next turn. We might just win next turn. Still not enough. That's not even enough to clear this. That is a riot. That is a riot. And that is the game. I love it. 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 And we got the dark peddler. I don't. I don't think that's too bad. It's in, it's interesting. This discover mechanic is pretty interesting. I'll say that much. Uh, let's take a look at those new cards, though. Uh, League of Explorers. So we got the Explorer's hat. Give me a plus one, plus one, and a death rattle, which adds an explorer's hat to your hand. I don't even know what an explorer's hat does. We got the Forgotten Torch. I actually really like that. It's a pretty interesting card. Three damage, and then you get a uh, six damage spell for three as well in your deck. The Sacred Trial. When your opponent has at least three minions and plays another, destroy it. Interesting. Very interesting. That's a secret, right? Yes. Um, the Rumbling Elemental. After you play a Battlecry minion, deal two damage to a random enemy. Hmm. The Dark Peddler, which we saw. The Obsidian Destroyer, which gives you a 1-1 taunt. Uh, so it's like a bigger hogger, kind of, more or less. And then um, the Jeweled Scarab, which gives you a 3-3 uh, three, three discovery. The Ancient Shade, not a huge fan of that. Death Rattle will give me an plus 2 plus 3. Eh, it's, uh, it's alright. Uh, this is kind of interesting. Summoning Stone's kind of interesting. Reno Jackson, I don't really think, I don't really know about him. And um, I guess there's nothing else of right now, because it's not uh, not available at the moment.